Yeah, so, I mean, right now, Larry looking on top right now. We'll, we'll see. I mean, the first time Fallen did ever beat Larry was, like, maybe, like, a month ago at MSM, around there. And That's he was right. able to bring it back from losers. So he's been able to beat Larry in two sets in a row before. You definitely could, You could say that this set goes back and forth. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> Both these players definitely. And, and it's always so volatile. Rosa, Fox, um, they definitely mess each other up <laughs> in disadvantage. So... Right now, really safe space coming out from both players, though. Oh, man, it's, he's perfect shield, man. Let's see Illusion into it, up to the trades that just keep going back and forth between these two players. Yep, but the Luma is in tumble, but it's reset back. Oh, the forward tilt just out of range there for Larry. There's a dead Luma. All those exchanges must have added uh, up to Luma's life. Luma's gone. Going for the fair off stage. Not going to get work for Fallen. Okay, again, Larry just rinse and repeating. Um, definitely one of the stronger boxes at ledge trapping. Um, this man's reactions uh, when he puts you on the ledge is really hard to deal with. Ooh, tries to get him with that back air. Up smash, not going to be uh, able to connect there. Oh, the up air beating out Fallen's down air. Yeah. Fallen trying to call the Luma back and um, maybe just trying to protect himself with a, a hurt box or a hit box. Okay, throwing out a single hit of the fair to just get a little bit of extra damage, drag down fair for Fallen. Now Fallen just having difficulty staying on the stage. Yeah, Larry just putting on the hurt. 55 damage already on Fallen. Just run up, Ooh. shoulder check him, put that star off stage. Luma is by the edge. This is not what Fallen wants, but Fallen able to get back to the center stage with the Luma online. This is what he wants. A jab 1 2 into up throw. Up air not going to work as uh, Larry just jumps away. Now we see Illusion into oh! an up smash. Dang, and Rosa's so big. Rosa's so big, and like she was actually pretty high up in the air, but the Fox up smash, the strong hit, was still able to connect because Rosa's just so tall. And with just a sprinkle of rage, yeah. that was uh, enough to take the stock. Exactly. And um, since it was set up with the illusion, Luma not there for the sucker punch. Yep. So uh, really good stuff to Larry. A very strong opener, game one. And uh, he did 3-0. I believe it was a 3-0 in uh, winner's final. Yes. So back to final destination we go. Oh, okay, doesn't get the uh, tech situation there, but really good setup from Fallen. I see one up air, only a single up air, and Fallen able to sneak in the back air to interrupt Larry. Oh, man, that up tilt swooping so far. Uh, that move is really big. If you have the uh, Hurtbox hitbox mod, go in there and look at Fox <laughs> up tilt. It's gigantic. Well, throwing Luma off stage, and then, oh, getting able to land a little bit extra damage onto Fallen. He's trying to get through. And back on stage. Larry is moving and again with these ledge traps. Oh Ooh. man, the back air. If that connected, that would have been death. But that oh. back air connects and that's a stock. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you throw out 15 back airs, one of them's going to land, right? Especially when you're timing it like Larry. This man is so good at ledge trapping. Okay, but now it's Fallen's turn. Oh, as Larry gets sent to the left side of the stage. What's, what's Fallen looking for? We can see down tilt. Down tilt does not connect. You know, we saw Larry kind of stalling it out a little bit, like waiting for the last possible moment. And it, it does matter like how low you sink the side B as well. Wow, oh, wow, able to ride the level. Yeah. Just sneak past Fallen. Very smart angle there coming out from Larry. Getting some lasers in. Oh, and the call out, the up smash going to scoop up Larry. Larry trying to get that roll behind, man. <laughs> well, all he did was catch a noggin. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, there's back here. No double jump on Fallen. Oh, the up tilt doesn't connect on that up B though. That's going to be a re-grab, and that's going to be free, uh, two free up tilts for, for Larry. And, and Larry is blowing up these air dodges. Uh, you know, the, the classic Fox Vortex. Wow, Ooh. even catching as yeah. Fallen was trying to rise for the ledge. Yeah, he called him out there, and a lot of people will still shield there because they're respecting, like, the fact that Luma can rise up with an up air or just, like, throw it up air at any point. So Larry essentially was just like, you ain't throwing out nothing. Like, you, <laughs> you ain't you're going to jump and just go straight for that ledge. I am calling you out. Throw this up tilt. Get this back air. And JV2 saw coming out from Larry, and he's going to be up 2-0 in this set. Running it right back to final destination. Larry looking good to get that 6-0 and a handshake to Fallen. Yeah, maybe Larry just like, like, hey, man, uh, congrats on number one, but uh, it's kind of my spot, bro. <laughs>
And I mean, throughout the history of SoCal, I'd have to say Larry was number one the most, right? Uh, yes. It was, if it was not Larry, then uh, usually if Larry was not number one, it was Boyd. Right. Yeah, Fallen just jumping into that echelon. Definitely a hard barrier to break, I feel. But let's see if he can keep it. Let's see if he can defend the title. Yeah. Very uncharacteristic. Fallen missing these down tilts against Fox's illusions at the ledge. Yeah, um, I, I'm not too sure. I, I'm assuming it's just like a mistime thing, or maybe Larry's just like sinking them really, really low, so it's harder to catch. Yeah, it does look like the down tilt is just being a little bit too high as Larry's dropping a little bit lower. And now we see Illusion into an up air, even tacking on a little bit of extra damage on the Fallen, or on the Luma. And that oh, pivot that cross Epsil, up. That pivot Epsil oh. is such a good tool. He just crossed them up with the back air too, so good. Oh, go, go for the down smash. Oh, I like the aggression from Fallen with the forward air. Oh, Larry. Okay. All right, Larry. Okay. All right, Larry. He's throwing out the tech. <laughs> All right, Larry. You trying to hit him with the reverse, though? The reverse of Smash? All right, I see you. I, I guess when you're up 2-0, you can do that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. That's when the, the fancy stuff really comes out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the confidence is, like, at its highest. Wow. Okay. Well, Sucker Punch comes in for Fallen. If that up air is not going to be able to connect. Down Smash connecting for Fallen. Now, Fallen setting up his trap. Great pivot grab. Yeah. Cast the illusion. Really good stuff. Let's see if we can close it out. High Illusion coming out from Larry to avoid that trap, and the back air connects. Yeah, Larry is definitely bullying Fallen all over the stage. He gets the DBZ, but he does not lose his stock for it. Ooh, and Fallen calling out the side B, just positioning himself correctly, reacting, and he gets that uh, down air, the equalizer, man. Okay, yeah, see a down throw, and Fallen, or Luma, just being the wall that yeah. Larry had to expect after that down throw. Yeah, that Luma's dependable, man. Okay, Fallen trying to set up this, uh, ooh, but the forward throw, gonna take out the Luma. Very fortunate for Larry, unfortunate for Fallen. Now Fallen finds himself on the left, right, left side of the stage, He's trying to get back on. Oh, no jump though! Oh, wow, the double dare! The double, the double. Hit him with the double dare. I told you Fallen can edge guard without Luma, I told you guys. Yeah, you said no it. No Luma required. Mm. Yeah, that so was clean. No 6 0 handshake. Clean. As uh, Fallen able to secure a game here in Grand Finals. Yeah, Fall Fallen was just like, no, you're not going to 6 0 me. Not today. And you know Fallen wants this tournament. He is. Uh, he didn't just come here to take one game. He wants this tournament. So right. let's see. Um, it's going to be a long climb from here if it is, it is, if it is going to happen. I mean, he's going to win at least the next two games in a row. Yeah. So let's see if he can get through that threshold here. Essentially just trying to set up for this game number five situation. We're gonna, he's gonna have to play on Larry's counterpick. Town and City is the stage. I've seen uh, Fallen counterpick the stage against Fox as well, so I'm pretty sure he's pretty comfortable here as well. Especially with uh, how comfortable he is with getting those up throws into up airs. You definitely have to have a comfortable pick here on Town and City. Okay, there's a dash attack coming out from Larry. Oh, oh and double, there's- Double up tilt into an up air. Yeah, and uh, you know, that Rosalina up B kind of like Falcons up B kind of overshoots a little bit. So uh, you always see Larry going either for the down tilt or the up tilt every time Fallen goes for these up Bs. You no, know, it, it's really the crown. That just, the crown is so heavy. That, uh, just like that. Yep. Three up airs <laughs> on that Luma. That's a dead Luma. Fun fact, guys. Up air does 16% with hit one and two. That's a lot of damage. Okay, well, now we see an up throw. Air dodging the up air. Getting a reversal. <laughs> You saw how close that backer was. Yeah. Larry, ooh, but he connects that up there. And that's one thing that I've noticed a lot of Fox are being a little bit more aggressive. They'll not necessarily do like low edge guards, but they'll do like kind of highish edge guards with back air. I really like it. But how, how, how often do you see like at these higher percentages like a falling up air or a short hop up air to get the kill? Oh, yeah. Okay. And, and we do notice that Larry kind of doesn't really go for fair footstools in this matchup. I know, um, when uh, Light beat the Buzz, he actually got him with Fair Footstool a decent amount of time. So Light, definitely, uh, I guess his style of Fox against in this matchup, he'll, he's uh, a lot more willing to go for Fair Footstool. Okay. But Larry on the ledge, falling, going for the Lunar Landing, but not going to pay off. Be able to get that dash attack and then get rid of that Luma. Now we're going to see some easy damage here. And Larry starts... Wow, connects the back area. That nope. looked like so close to killing. Yeah, and there's no double jump on Fallen there as well, so that's why we saw Larry trying to be a little bit more um, aggressive. He went for the uh, back air to cover the B. Oh, but Fallen gets back on the stage. The Luma's online. Ooh, the DBZ is Fallen sending, being sent significantly farther than Larry is. Larry trying to get back on stage. The back air connects. Oh, 
but Luma doesn't shoot far, like towards the stage. Wow, but the back air from <laughs> Luma, just getting rid of any pressure yeah. that Larry was trying to give. Fallen definitely going to make it work. And may maybe he wanted the Luma there. Maybe he didn't want the Luma to go all the way on stage. But the fourth though, the platform saving Luma though. Now Larry holding shield. Oh, that's a deadly one. Uh, mm -hmm. And calls out that fair. Gets the jump cancel. Up smash. I